Oh, hello there! In this video, I will be going over some simple glazing methods and tips. I will be glazing a cup with two different glazes and this little plate with one glaze. If you have any questions during the video, please leave a comment down below. Alright, let's get started! So first step is to sponge your bisque with a damp sponge to get all the dust off. And the next step is to add some wax on the bottom of your feet. I like to use this foam brush for waxing, but any brush will do. Waxing the bottom of your pieces will help make cleaning the glaze away easier after dipping. Wax will resist any liquid, so make sure to only put wax where you want it. Don't forget to rinse your brush when you are done. If you let the wax dry and solidify, it will ruin your brush. Just keep in mind that wax never really washes out of brushes. Moving on to the glaze. The heavier chemicals in the glaze will have separated, so always remember to give your glaze a really good stir. To start off, I will glaze the inside of my cup first. That way, if I drip some glaze on the outside, I can easily wipe it away. I didn't realize that this glaze was a little on the thicker side when I poured it in, so it didn't really make a full round when I tried to rotate the glaze out. But you can always go back and touch it up. Next I'll go back with my damp sponge and clean up all the drips on the outside and also touch up the rim. And now for the outer glaze. For my piece, since I don't really have much of a foot, I find a good and comfortable spot to grip with two to three fingers on the very bottom and then dunk the whole cup into the glaze. This is where that wax comes in handy. For the plate or anything flat, you can always dunk it straight into the glaze, but since I didn't have enough glaze here, instead I used a measuring cup and poured the glaze directly onto the surface. And again, just a reminder, always give it a nice good shake to get off any excess glaze. Since I waxed the bottoms of my pieces, I can take a damp sponge and simply wipe away the glaze. During this step, I will also wipe down the glaze at the very bottom. This is just an extra precaution to help prevent the glaze from running. So here is the finished cup. You can see some of the fun little floaty drips on the inside where the inside glaze meets the outside glaze. And you can also see where the glaze is kind of pooled at the bottoms of my carvings here. Uh, it's a good thing that I cleaned up the bottom. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that this video was helpful and if you have any questions leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching!